All right, we're back and we got a really good topic today. This is a really good question we get all the time, especially on demo calls and onboarding calls is, what should my target ACOS actually be? Like inside the app, when you turn on this slows optimizer, we ask you for a target ACOS. So I got with me Scott again, Scott's on our support team. If you haven't had a chance to talk to Scott, you're missing out, he's fantastic. He knows his stuff, he's really good. So Scott, what should my target ACOS be uh, for my campaigns? I know that's a loaded question, but what would you suggest? Yeah, so uh, when users first set their target ACOS percentage, um, you know, if they want to just kind of help lower their ACOS, then I would set the ACOS target currently at what their campaign is running at. So let's say you're running at a 40% target ACOS percentage over the past 30 days. Um, I think it's okay to go ahead and set that target at 40%. And then over time, just kind of gradually decrease the ACOS percentage by 5% maybe every week or every other week, uh, just gradually, you know, lowering that ACoS percentage target, I think is better than, you know, setting a low ACoS percentage target right at the beginning. Um, because a lot of users, what they do is they can come in here and set their ACoS percentage target really low, uh, but that might not be realistic for their campaigns and that might drop the sales. So it's always a great idea to go ahead and gradually lower that target ACoS percentage like over time. Um, of course, there are exceptions like, if users are trying to launch a new campaign or trying to be really aggressive and just push the campaign, um, then you can always set that ACoS percentage target higher, let's say 80 to 100%. Uh, the software will try to push those keywords and get those uh, campaigns running a little bit more. So Yeah, good stuff. And, and I've seen it on both ends too, where uh, you know users come in, they'll have a target ACoS, they, let's say they want their target ACoS to be 10%. Well, the current ACOS is going to be 50. So they'll set their target at 10. And two weeks later, I'll get an email saying, my, my sales are dead. I was like, well, yep. yeah, you set, you set your target too low. So yep. if, if your goal is 10 and your current is 50, don't set the target at 10. Go exactly. 50, 50, 45, 40, mm -hmm. 35, and so on. Bring it down slowly. That way the, the, the optimizer can function and get all those bids closer to that 10. Now, I, I personally... I would always set your target ACoS at your break even profit margin. So if you're making 40% margins on a product, my target would always be 40 or higher just because I want to make sure I maximize the, the advertising to its fullest. What, what, what do you think there, Scott? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. It's like, even if you turn on the software and, and set it at that, that mark, which is a more realistic goal, um, it'll still help you lower that ACoS percentage because um, it'll look at all the bad performing keywords and still lower the bids on those while, you know, increasing the bids on the better performing keywords. So um, I think you're 100 percent right. It's just trying to find that right balance and, uh, you know, being realistic about it as well. OK, let's pull up your screen here and, and show show us where we set this target a cost at on the campaign side. Yeah. So, um, you know, if we navigate to the, the PPC manager and we scroll down below the graph, we do have a list of our campaigns. Uh, you know, for an individual campaign, we just click on the actions, edit campaign. Then we'll scroll over here to the right. And this is where we set that target ACoS percentage. Um, you can set a custom ACoS percentage. So this, you know, let's say we wanted a 12%. So like a, an uneven number uh, or an even number, we can just select this. And, you know, that's where we set our target ACoS percentage. Um, you know, there's an advanced option. So keep in mind of this as well. This this goes over top of search placement and stuff like that. So make sure you're looking at these as well. Uh, but yeah, whenever setting that target ACoS percentage, make sure you toggle this this optimizer on and then also set this target ACoS percentage in this drop down right here. So what would I do if I'm launching a new product? What would be your suggestion on the target ACoS? It's a brand new product, brand new campaign. I'm just trying to get a lot of data. What would my target ACoS be for, for that instance? Yeah, so great question. So really what I do, you know, and what we do in this situation is uh, go to the custom and we'll set this really high. So we'll set this 80 to even 100% sometimes. Um, just because the whole purpose of setting that higher ACoS percentage target is not to make profit, but just to get our product out there and get it seen and gain traction. That's really our main goal when we're setting such a high ACoS percentage target. Um, now we're not going to let this run at 100% forever, uh, but it's just a great way to get started and and gain that traction and see those sales that we want to see on the on the campaign. What's going to happen with the bid if I set it at 100%? What happens to 
my keywords? Is it just go crazy or what's that, what's that look like? Yeah, so the, the keyword bids will, will begin to, to increase um, until it gets to that, that 100% ACoS percentage. So if it never reaches that, that 100% ACoS percentage, then the software, let's say, is negative profit and no sales, it will go ahead and lower the bids back down. Um, but uh, the idea is when we're setting this target ACoS percentage, uh, you know, all of the bids will try to act and go towards that 100% ACoS percentage target that we set in the software. Understood. So there you go. So a new product, set the target A cost higher than normal. It'll feel uncomfortable. It'll feel strange to do that. But yeah. that's just going to allow the, the software and the campaign and all those keywords that you're bidding on, they'll start to get more traffic. So yeah. setting that higher is going to be beneficial in the longer because you're going to start to get organic ranking. So set it's your target A cost high, let the software find the optimal bid, uh, and continue to raise those bid prices for you so you start to get more traffic. Now, if you're already on page one and you're already ranking and you're already getting organic sales, then you can go down to your like real profit margin ACoS because you've already get organic sales. So setting your target ACoS on a lower end, right? Scott, would that be the right way to do it? Yeah, exactly. Like we, you know, after we set this target ACoS percentage to 100%, um, you know, each product will be different based on the market niche and how competitive that market is. But you're 100% right. We don't want that to be at 100% forever. Um, like eventually we do want to lower that a cost percentage target. Um, so yeah, just gradually lowering that a cost percentage target over time. Once we get those organic sales, um, and we start seeing a lot of those organic sales come in, then we know it's probably about time and to, to lower that target a cost percentage, um, because we know we're organically ranking for our product. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, there's, there's a lot more in our support section. So inside the app, there's a little support tab. You can click on the support tab and there's a whole bunch of articles, videos. Uh, so be sure to check that out if you have any other questions about that. You can also reach out to support by email. There's a support tab there. Yep. Um, so you can always send an email and Scott and, and the team over there will, will try to get to that question as fast as they can. So uh, feel free to reach out, check out the app. It's got a lot of information and we'll be back with another one.